G'day folks, in this video I'm making some rollers from coloured acetal. Uh, they have a bearing fitted and a circlip installed. This material is way larger than I can part off. So I'm holding it between the chuck and the centre and grooving as deep as I can and then just using a saw to finish the job off. I'm making multiple parts out of this piece of material so the idea is to drill it first and then bore it right through to 42 diameter which is the size that it needs to be before the bearing bore is put into the piece. Next I just face it off to clean it up and then turn it to the 58 OD that it needs to be all the way along. This blank is long enough to get four parts out of it. These clips are sped up two times so you don't have to wait around forever to see something happen. This was moving along nicely and then I realised that my DRO has been a bit strange lately so I just gave it a quick check to find out what was going on and it was close enough. Here I'm using a left hand boring bar. These make it so much easier to see what you're doing. You do have to remember to turn the lathe on in reverse and in my case change the position of the feed lever too. Here we're taking the bore out to suit the bearing. Here we're looking at a grooving insert in an internal threading bar. They work really great. Here we're looking at the grooving tool in action. Unfortunately you really don't see much because it gets messy real quick. There's a cleaner shot of the grooving insert. They're available for internal and external grooves. And they work really well. Right now I go in with the groove just far enough to be able to use a double chamfer tool which you can see there that's the only tool I use in high speed steel everything else I use is carbide. And once the chamfers are on it's back to the parting off tool and finish parting off. Here's the finished roller ready for its bearing and circlip to be installed. Right, I turned this up out of a lump of PVC I had hanging around the place and this is so that I can use it to press the bearings in. And that yellow spacer, should it look familiar to anybody, it's uh, in a previous video. That's a scrap one. Yes, that's the handle of the fly press going by. And that adapter I made, that PVC adapter for pressing them in, worked quite well. And here's my circlip pliers. So the bearings are in, the circlip grooves are cut. Let's see if we can install some circlips. I've not encountered circlips of this size before. And already it's not going very well, is it? Oh, go on, tell me that they come much larger. Yeah, I know, but I've never dealt with larger ones myself. Oh, that was a struggle. That bloke was not wrong. It was a struggle. But there you are. I got all four of them done. I think I can see a video in my future where I buy a larger pair of circlip pliers. Yeah. Ah, I'll let you know if that happens. Right, that's about it. So, leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought. And thank you for watching.